Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Letter! I've made contact with the Witch Cult. They call themselves Guardians of Shoral. Of the Shoral. Of the Shoral. Their leaders are all women, and they claim that the landmark tablets are wrong, and that they are the true keepers of Valdi knowledge. If the tablets are wrong, then what is right? They responded affably, welcoming my questions on Season Crystals, Algernon the Wise, and more. I will attempt to succinctly recap the responses, but I'm afraid I failed to replicate their eloquence. Here we go. Generation- oh, Jesus Christ. Generations upon generations ago, an old mountain dweller named Emmy noticed a remote spot in the distance where strange weather circulated. Upon closer inspection, she discovered that the tumultuous weather pattern was contained around an enormous crater. Cold and warm air currents swept past her and then went idle. Clouds and micro-tornadoes burst into formation and then evaporated, bringing with it spatters of rain and snow. She said it was as if all the seasons were competing with each other all at once. She boldly traversed to the center of the crater and retrieved a large stone from its center. It pulsed with light and seemed to be like gravity, pulling every season to it. She named it the Cipher Stone. When Emmy brought this back news back to her kin, there was much skepticism, but eventually they witnessed the crater for themselves. The phenomenon filled them with fear and they fled. Emmy became known as the Witch of the Mountains. In secret, Emmy, su Emmy was successful in recruiting women with whom she entrusted all her knowledge surrounding the Cypher Stone and the Season Crystals. These women became known as the Witch Cult, but actually named themselves Guardians of the Shoral. Eventually, this original band of leaders developed into the Samhain tribe, or Samhain, of mountain dwellers who exist today. More to come. Okay, so that's interesting. So things may not be as they have been presented to us. As is often the case in these fantasy things where it's like, oh, it's not actually fantasy, you're actually, like, a recovering civilization after a huge apocalypse, and there was a very advanced civilization before you with lots of technological advancements. You know, that kind of thing. But you all called them witches and had them burned at the stake. Take this, dark crystal. Or red crystal, whatever. I have a new sword now that you don't respond to any differently from. Hiya! No different. It's completely cosmetic. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da hey, wait a minute. Oh, what the fuck? Gotta go spring. Or not. Uh, oh! I knew it! I knew there was one! Big old potato man! Oh, it's the dead. Frosty hands. Wait that a is... minute, this is stronger. That does do more damage. That is. Ooh! Interesting. I like ye. <laughs> I'm a bit ashamed how that scared me so easily. Oh, hey. Hi, Luna. How's it going, baby? Okay, so he's waiting for you here and he couldn't give you a lift. I know. I, you know, I once worked around these parts as an undertaker, and on Friday the 13th, an outbreak of ghosts broke open the door of hell, but with my stalwart courage, I pushed them right back through. Didn't the historical society prove that it was creaking walls and not ghosts? <laughs> and who do you think was doing all the creaking? Take your fast travel kick, take a kid, and when next you visit the chapel, hire the best bodyguard around. Yours truly. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Did I miss any crystals on my way here? No. I think there are three in each area. There's that one. That one. Oh, fuck. No, wait. That, yeah, I did yeah, miss did. one. Yeah. I missed that one. Fuck! I gotta go back and grab that. Because otherwise, what's the point? It's just gonna tell me to come back and do it again. It's an orange now. Orange? Yeah, the thing you killed. Actually, let's it went from that. being brown like a potato to orange. Two hits! Holy shit! Love it! I am going yeah, the right way, right? That is the one you did grab, isn't it? No, the other one that I grabbed one? was the faded out one. See how that one's faded out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is the one that I need to grab. If I can figure it out. Looks like there's some kind of oh, lift over there. You need to find a way up there. I'm sure there'll be some sort of trick or doodad or path or way or Zack and Wiki. Never actually played that game, but I wanted to. It looked really fun. I've never heard of it. It was a Wii game. 
Hmm. Oh boy. There you go. How the fuck do I get up here? So it won't let me go up. Make that. it winter. Mm. Yeah, over there. Maybe I need to go further up and around, and there'll be some sort of path up here. Hopefully I don't just fucking clip through the floor and fall into the void. Because that's like a huge fear of mine when playing games like these. Okay, so... I guess I'll just- okay. The Skyrim way over there, Jay. Yeah, it looks like there's no other path, unless it's like one of those things where I just get teleported up there. Maybe. I can't believe this is working. Oh, fuck. Well. Broken leg. Hmm. Ah! This looks much more doable. I'm gonna follow you up. No. Wait, what the hell is that? There's a platform. But why? Um... Okay, so I assume I just can't go up there for now. Oh, go over what? to it? Over to the platform? And... Yeah, like hit spring. Oh... Let me guess, God. yep. And of course I don't have the climbing power yet, so I guess I'm gonna get that in this temple? Most likely. Fine. Guess I've just wasted everyone's time. You can just teleport again. back to you. But that's the loading is gonna take even longer than it's gonna take to just run back over here. Like I did consider it, but the loading's gonna take even longer, so why bother? Ah. You're out of season. I don't understand why the pitch shifter voice up when in battle. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like an error or something. Oh, there's a letter up there. The Chapel of Seasons is dedicated to the legendary warrior and the ordeal ordained royal dynasty of Astara. The ch uh, chapel is built on a massive foundation to stand in front of the Spring Temple. <clears throat> to protect the temple against the rise of evil, the royal family took drastic measures to safeguard it. Therefore, let both endure and serve as tribute. Blah, 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 blah. Treasure What's chest. Up, Oh, it's not a chance. Ah. This is a, uh... This is grave a site. fucking grave. Nope. Okay, red, white, green. That's probably a code to something. Maybe. Winter, Jay. Good. Good job. Excellent work. Thank you. Oh, God. You failed, Jay. No! I, I rescind everything I said about some you. Some way. Hmm... I, I better get like a fucking super jump or something. Oh, uh, oh. that works. Aha! Fuck you, you cheap ass game. I know your tricks. These women lead their life with a ferocity I've never seen. All follow the leadership without question. They can wield season crystals, creating spheres just the same as the guardians back home. Why did they not come down from the mountains and reveal, reveal themselves to the world and join other guardians? Imagine a whole other lineage of guardians and apprentices. Because they would reject them and try to kill them because they are heretics, according to them. When I broached this, they divulged the dangers still threaten them, even all these generations later. I'd like to follow up with what these dangers might be, but for now, I'd simply listen and let them continue where we left off. Most of those who first witnessed the initial crater phenomenon fled and condemned Emmy and her findings, including a local tribe leader, Algernon. 
But as time went on, Algernon could not disregard it from his mind. He eventually went back to Emmy, won her trust, and convinced her to shed more light on her discoveries. Emmy divulged that the shards from the Cypher Stone contained fragments of seasons, and she named those sar sh ah, shards Season Crystals. Algernon and Emmy's acquaintanceship developed into a fondness for each other, and they eventually married. They never had children of their own, but instead they continued to recruit followers. Emmy taught the tribe of women while Algernon began enlisting and instructing men. <clears throat> Instead of dying at a normal age, em oh, Emmy and Algernon drew an unusually long life, which they attributed to time spent near the Cypher Stone. Their biology and the biology of their followers seemed permanently affected. This is how they and their descendants became season wielders. They spent years studying the meteor crater, the Cypher Stone, their growing power of the season crystals, and the effects of other phenomena, including the red and black shards that en bleh, ignited energy. But unbeknownst to Emmy, Algernon would choose to keep his next discovery secret. More tomorrow. So, Algernon is probably the evil guy, if I had to guess. Probably. The evil guy. That's wizard. not gonna help you, Drake. Alright. Hey, go around the other side. Well, this one here is too. I can go into here. <clears throat> Let me in! Let the right one in! That was a vampire movie, if I remember right. What? There was a vampire movie called Let the Right One In. I don't think I've heard of that. I mean, I think that's I think it was a vampire movie at least. You should look it up. I will. Sounds good. Cuz I never watched it myself, but I always thought that's a weird title. But then it's like, "Oh yeah, you have to let vampires into your house. That's the the rule, right? They have to be invited across the threshold." Oop, oh, okay. Huh. So, big spooky Mayan temple. Within the temple's megalithic relics came ancestral knowledge, establishing Arstara's royal lineage. As foretold by the ancients, heed the wisdom of leaders and follow traditions. And from your sovereign loyalty, prosperity will reign. Let the Astara temple forever remain a sanctuary of seasons. Yeah, the more we hear about, like, the secret history and shit, the more I'm convinced that, uh... There's like a secret society or some bad shit happening here. Oh, um, uh, let's see. Let the right one in. A horror romance. Don't see those too often. Horror romance? Yep. What the fuck? It's Swedish. Swedish, okay. Let's see. When Oscar, a sensitive, bullied 12 year old boy living with his mother in suburban Sweden, Meets his new neighbor, mysterious and moody Eli. They strike up a friendship initially reserved with each other. Oscar and Eli slowly form a close bond. They soon become apparent that she's no ordinary young girl. Eventually, Eli shares her dark macabre secret, with Oscar revealing her connection to a string of bloody local murders. Okay, this movie was not at all what I thought it was, so that's interesting. Okay, so that's you, and then I need you. The American version is called Let Me In. Interesting. Because the publishers believe the original title is too long. Huh. Alright, whatever. Not the right one oh. slip in. Is a play on the concept of vampire folklore, which says vampires cannot enter a house unless invited. <laughs> Knew it. You can also rescind that invitation. Oh, cool. I did not know you could just be like, you're no longer allowed here, but usually they probably kill you before you can say that. Usually, yeah. No one thinks of it. Because, oh, hey, now there's a vampire in my house. I got a. But you absolutely again. can't say, I rescind my invitation, and they'll just leave. That's fucking hilarious. Like, you'll be forced out. Like, just a fucking poof, just gets shoved out. Okay. No. Jay, they're dramatic. It's gonna be like a slow slide out as they just kinda glare at you. Oh god. That happened once in something. Slippery slope. <laughs> like yeah, so just, the guy you... rescind my invitation. The guy just stares at her she as he slowly slides out. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Just like Okay, they're not deadly brambles. 
Oh, huh. that's what I was supposed to do. I see. You're a fool, Jerry. A fool of a took. Next time, save your do us all a favor and save throw yourself in. Save us all the trouble. Fool of a took. Jerry, don't forget you can also shoot seasons with your sniper. That's right. I can do that thing that you said I can. Those seem precarious. Why? Hmm. Yeah, uh... Real life, I would not trust getting on this shit at all. Oh, there's my climby cause. What? Well, it's not... Oh no, it's... Mushroom. A single mushroom. Ah, what the fuck? Oh yeah, the big ones explode into smaller ones. Big blue ones, at least. I thought the red ones were the ones. What the? F I thought the red ones were supposed to explode. No, the blue ones explode into smaller ones. Hmm. All right then. Yeah, I know. I I can clearly see the big golden chest. Now give me my climbing claws. Climbing gloves. Whatever. Close enough. Things. You go have on Mickey your hands. Mouse claws, and they let you climb. <laughs> Oh, they don't magically appear on me? That's disappointing. Why do you need gloves to climb, though? You have fingers! I mean, they're brambles. I know. Pointy. And you could get a sliver. Oh, fine. A singular sliver. Um. Make um. it. Oh! oh. You gotta do the thing. That's why, okay. Then step inside, walk this way. Ow. Hey, what the fuck? I remember those. Uh, this one ad I heard on the uh, classic rock station. Uh huh. It was just talking about the. Uh, oh, what the fuck? Like. It was talking about, like. How I need to respect, like, other renditions of music, like, covers and such. Uh-huh. Except, one of them was really weird. It was like a ballroom version of Walk This Way. What? Yeah! It's like, I... Walk This Way... I'm just sitting here like, this does not fit. Like, there's no energy here. No, I... that sounds pretty fucking weird. It was. Like, it only had a couple bars, but... Like, you can respect a rendition, but you don't have to... Odd. It do, you can respect a rendition, that doesn't mean it's good. I run. Like, you can respect people's can opinions, it? but you can still absolutely call it Stop a it. dog shit opinion. Stop it. Oh, right. No. Oh. Fuck. That's disappointing. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought there might be something up here. What? What the fuck? Uh... I think your PNG is broken, my dude. They put it at the wrong angle. <laughs> oh... I fucking love it. See, goofy shit like that, I don't mind at all, because it's funny at least. That was the wrong one, I know. Yes! But that's okay, because now I got my climby gloves, so I can do... Oh, I got a trophy. Pirate of the Baldy Bean. There, there are a few trophies that have pretty good names, I'll admit. Like, uh... Hey. In every level... On every level, except for a physical, I am a stork. Mm. You know, because of the wolf meme. The, the furry yeah. guy. Sled games. Jeez. Bing, bam, bizzle. Let's see. And yep, of course, it hit something. Yeah, the down one down there. So, what does it need me to grab while I'm here? Well, you probably need to go up there. 
Okay. Well, However, the lights... That's the end. Ah. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so we'll figure this out in the next one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.